Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to fix our basic chat window. Um, originally, once it has been selected, you are unable to unselect it because of the, um, the GUI focus, I believe it was. Yep, uh, fo focus control was focused just on the chat window, so it was making it so we couldn't deselect it at all. So the only way to unfocus off um, a specific target, I'm not sure if there's a way to like null it so um, it completely gets rid of everything that's selected, but what I found out is you can um, switch between two. So the solution was creating another chat window that was almost identical, but put it off screen and just have nothing in it. Um, so pretty much GUI focus focuses um, on a GUI element, so when we press enter it focuses on um, on our text field so we can enter in it with, by pressing enter. And so with that, the only way to deselect it is to enable another um, focus control. So yeah, I just uh, made a new GUI text field that we're not going to be using besides deselecting our current one. And also I put our original chat window into this line of code. And I created a new else if statement and I just said select text field equals equals true. So um, so when we're done entering it'll change it to true and it will focus onto our other chat window. So yeah that's that basic code. Then we can scroll down to here and you can see I just changed select text field to true. Also another cool thing is um, where was it? For this that means whenever um, you can enter in to the text field I made it so the text field only appears when you press enter. So the sad part about this chat system now is you can't uh, you can't move your mouse over and click on to start typing, but most games nowadays is you just press enter and you type whatever you want. So I, it's not too big of a deal, like people aren't going to really care. It saves a lot of time just pressing enter to type, so I wouldn't see people having too much of a problem with that. But yeah, that's all the extra code I put into there. So just go and add, um, just go and add that at the else if statement. You can add in or throw the stuff in here and then go down there and just put true after all this. And that's all you need to do to fix it. I'm not going to post code or anything because it's pretty basic stuff to do. It'll take you guys two seconds to copy some code and change it a little bit. But yeah. Oh yeah, I also named it chat window 2. And that's chat window 2. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that code, and we can jump in here. And now you can see um, our window is hidden that we type in. So when we press enter, it appears, and we can just type test. Enters, disappears, and it deselects. Because I could type a bunch of stuff right now, hit enter, and nothing shows up. It's not typing extra stuff at all. So just type test again it'll hide itself and that's a much nicer chat system than what we had before. At least it was a very simple solution to get it fixed. So we've been doing a lot with our chat so hopefully um, we can do a little bit more with it. I'm still trying to figure out the online capabilities for networking, for chatting with each other, but I will get that figured out when I can. But until then I'll probably be releasing other tutorials on just random stuff for now, but yep. Yeah.